Hey guys, Kyle checking in. Not the greatest day today. I had to discharge some batteries. I don't really like to do that. Um, I have the day off. I was going to go out to the field, but I just, the weather's just not that great. So good day to do a video. I want to do a uh, video on stalls. Um, some fundamentals that I think we all need to review and uh, learn are uh, when is that aircraft going to stall? And do I know when it's going to stall? And so let's talk about a stall. We're going to talk about the average stall. We're not talking about a hammerhead. We're not talking about a snap roll, you know, throwing it into a stall. Um, we're talking like an upset, uh, a stall that you're not expecting. And the average stall happens when you're turning base to final. It's just that classic uh, approach to landing where you're starting to slow down. When you're coming downwind and you start to turn base, you're slowing down. Throttle's probably coming back. Uh, as soon as you start to bank, you're going to lose some lift. So you're starting to pull back on your elevator. You're starting to pull back on your stick to maintain altitude. And then you're going to turn again on to final. That gets dangerous. First of all, let's talk about the stall itself. And <clears throat> I'll use this shoestring to mimic the relative wind, the oncoming wind. So this is a happy airplane right now. You got the wind smoothly going over the wing. No problems. It's cruising along just fine. You start to slow down a little bit. In this case, you can start to see there will be some air separation from the aft part of the wing here. It will start to come up like this. And it will start to come off the airplane and start to burble a little bit. It gets worse and worse and worse. As it goes up to around this area, it will break. And that wing will stall. So what are we doing? when that happens. If you're power off and you go up like this, it will stall, okay? So your power off, airplane's going up, it'll eventually do one of these, the air will separate, the airplane will stall, most likely both wings will come down at the same time, and the airplane will most likely start to fly again. If you're coming around base to final and you're in a bank like this, it's possible that if you start pitching up, say, or you get too slow, one wing may break before the other. When that happens, if this wing breaks before the left wing, the airplane will break this way. That wing will stall. This one might be still flying, so it's going to break this way and go down into a spin. That's primarily what we call a tip stall. Uh, one wing is stalling before the other. So, what I want to really get at is this right here is a happy airplane, okay? Look at the control surfaces, they're perfect. My airplanes and your airplanes are pretty much set up to where if you go to idle, uh, that the aircraft, if it stalls, will probably most likely just drop if it's a if it's a well set up balanced airplane it'll drop like a leaf and then it'll start flying again and it'll kind of stall and it'll fly again with the elevator straight aileron straight this thing is a happy airplane okay when you start messing with the elevator okay you start pulling up on the elevator so let's say you're going base to final you're banking, you're losing lift because of the bank. We lose lift in the bank. You start pulling back on the elevator to compensate, to, to level off the airplane, right? So you don't lose so much altitude. Well, this is getting into being a cranky airplane. This is what I call a cranky airplane. It's getting pissed off. Why is it getting pissed off? Because you got this down motion here. You know, you got your... You got your elevator up, you got this down motion, and then you got this, it's like pushing the wing up. You can just see the airplane starting to struggle. It's struggling. 
And what do we do? We pull it up to about right here or so, and the airplane is just cracking and it stalls, okay? It stalls. You got the airplane at such an attitude like this. It could be level. It could be up like this. But that air is going to separate from the wing because you got all this pushing tendency and the airplane is just struggling. So it stalls. What do we do when it starts to stall and it starts to fall? What are we doing most of the time in a panic? Pulling it back. We're pulling the elevator even farther. What are we doing? We're, we're pissing off the airplane even more. We're making it an unhappy airplane, okay? So this is a happy airplane. If you continue to fly base to final and you don't get a lot of elevator in, this is a fairly happy airplane. When you start doing one of these things, that's when the airplane's unhappy and it's gonna stall, okay? That's the biggest, uh, the biggest thing I can say right now. So, what does your transmitter look like when an airplane stalls? It's going to look like this. Okay, throttle anywhere. Elevator right down in here, okay? The elevator is going to be right about there. So when I say, do you know when your airplane's going to stall? This is it, okay? This is where your airplane's gonna stall. If you start pulling back and you're flying along and you're let, you let go of the elevator, you got a happy airplane, okay? So translate your transmitter into what I just said with the airplane. This is beginning to be a cranky airplane, cranky. It's just getting pissed off, pissed off. Now it's struggling. It's struggling to fly because you're pushing on these, these forces with the airplane. So it's a struggle. So what are you gonna do when you stall? And this is hard, I know it's hard. I've, I've, I've failed myself. When the airplane stalls, guess what the stall recovery is going to be? Let go. Let go of that stick. When your airplane stalls, let go of the stick. Make it sound like that, listen to it. Let go of the stick, count to one, depending on your altitude, Count to two. If you have the altitude, you know, count to two. Most of the time we don't have the altitude. So you're going to go from this, right, right about here probably. Uh, and then you're going to let go. Boom. It's going to go like this. That airplane is going to be happy again. What's it going to do? It's going to fall. It's going to speed up. Airflow is going to come back to the surface of the wing. The airplane will fly again. Like I said, count to one, two if you can, if you have the altitude. Uh, let the airplane recover, get a little bit of air over the wings, then pull back and recover the airplane. Obviously, you're going to probably be putting in some power at this point. A um, little elevator to level off the airplane, but the important thing is to let go of the stick. Make it a happy airplane. This is a happy airplane if it's trimmed up, like we talked about. It's going to fly fine. It's not going to go into a massive stall. Even if you're power off, it'll fall, and then you can fly it again. If you get wrapped up, and this goes with EDF jets, it goes with anything. Base to final is the, is, is the worst, like we talked about, okay? Cranky airplane, make it a happy airplane, then recovery, okay? It really is that simple if you can remember to do it. Um, while you're flying. So I'm going to talk about this concept since we're right into it right now. And that's the concept of, of do you know when your airplane is going to stop flying when you're in the flare? When you come in and land, let's say you're, you're coming in and I'll just hold my finger like this and you're going to be pulling back, right? You're getting into ground effect. Um, pulling, pulling, pulling. Just let the airplane settle right in this position, right about here. And it depends on your airplane. Is when the airplane is going to break. Okay, if you come in smoothly, and most of my landings are power off. 
Uh, most of my airplanes are set up to where I come in on final with no power. The engine is at idle and my airplanes are coming down, gliding down about 1.3 times the stall, stall speed, 30% above the stall speed, coming down just nicely. That's just the way I have my airplanes trimmed up. I get low to the ground, I flare, I get into ground effect, I hold it off, I hold it off, I hold it off until the airplane stalls and it'll settle to the ground. And I know that on some of my airplanes, I, I just know where that is. And you learn, you will learn it. You have to practice. But you will come in and you'll know when that airplane is going to stall uh, and when it's going to break and settle to the ground. If you're a little high and you're like down here, go around. If you're nice, you know, if you're by the runway and everything's looking good, Continue that flare, bring it down just a little bit more. You know it's going to break right about there. You can get the feel. So can you fly an airplane by feel, a remote control airplane by feel? I think you can. We just don't have the uh, force feedback like a real airplane, right? Uh, so you have to just think. When you're coming in on final, think about where this stick is. Okay, let's say you're out on final. Oh, your, your plane's out of ways, okay? It's coming at you. You can't see how fast it's going. You're thinking, oh my gosh, is this thing going to stall? Do I need to add power? How is it flying? Well, in a real airplane, like when I'm flying my Cub, I can feel it in the stick, okay? I get a little bit of force feedback. I can feel it in the stick. But if I didn't have that force, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. If you took that force away, I would know where my airplane is speed-wise, which by that I mean how is it flying. Um, you can feel it with a stick, okay? And you can do that with a remote control airplane. You just have to continually remind yourself to think about where is my stick. When it's coming towards me and I'm down here, that airplane's close to stalling. If you go, hey, let's think about this. Where's my stick? Let's say, and you let go of it. You know you got a happy airplane, right? So that airplane, if it's flying just fine, now you can kind of go back into it. You, you know where you are now, okay? So every once in a while on final, you'll see my airplanes. I'll be like this, and I'll do this. I'll let go of it. I'll go all the way back to neutral. You'll see my airplane kind of dip and do one of these things. Because what I'm doing is resetting my mind and reminding myself where this stick is. So as you come in, uh, just keep in mind where that stick is. This is what happens when guys stall. They're not thinking about this stick. They're down here. They're just thinking about what the airplane's doing. And they don't know how cranky they're making the airplane. And, and you know, you might have that airplane just pissed off and you don't even know about it. Hey, let go of it. The airplane's going to dip, like I said, and just come back into it. Remind yourself where that stick is and where that stall is going to be. Okay? Where that stall is going to be. So, in my opinion, you can fly a remote control airplane by, by feel. We just don't have the force feedback, and you got to constantly remind yourself, where are my sticks? Uh, if you're flying an EDF, let's say you're going faster, well, the stall is not going to be so far down, right? If you're going faster, the stall might be like right here, okay? You know, this is going to move around a little bit on different airplanes and different speeds. Um, there's always exceptions to this. What we're talking about today is the average stall um, and a lot of averages, but I'll tell you, Every airplane I fly, I am, I am very conscious of where this stick is because this is it. This is your stall. This is your stall. You can actually tell when that airplane is going to stall. If you don't believe me, get out there and practice this. Like I said, this is something I use every time I fly any airplane. Uh, disc launch gliders, for example. I like the disc, disc launch gliders. You want to catch those, especially in a tournament. So. I know when I bring that glider in towards me, I know when that airplane is going to stop flying and just how much I have left. If I want to swoop that airplane in and maybe at the last minute just give it a little 
more of an alpha angle, I know how much stick I have. So I know when that glider is going to stop flying. So anyways, guys, practice that. I think it's, I think it's unbelievable. Um, just remember, stall recovery. Let go of the stick. Give yourself time. Let that airplane actually uh, fly again. Um, in the airlines, we actually push our first step in what we call an upset, which is a stall. It's a surprise. We, we are all of a sudden we're stalled. Our first, the very first thing we do is fly by the seat of our pants. We actually push to about 1G. We want to feel our bodies lifting up out of the chair just a tiny bit. Um, that's the very first thing we do. It doesn't matter what attitude you're in. So let's say you get upside down. You're sideways, you're banking, you're level, you're going like this, you're straight up. We push, doesn't matter. You push, and I'm talking about the elevator stick, right? We push just a tiny bit. And then, uh, and, and I don't want you guys to push. I don't think we need to push, okay? If you let go of the stick in a, in a model aircraft, I think that's good enough. If you just let go of that stick, this airplane will, boom, it will fly again. So just let go of the stick and, and continue. Um, but we push. And just out of sheer uh, curiosity, you might say, why are we pushing in a real airplane? Well, look at this. If you're like this and the airplane is stalled, okay? What am I going to do when I'm pushing with the elevator, uh, which means this, okay? What is the airplane going to do? It's going gonna, it's gonna to go like this, right? And what's this going to do? When I push with the stick, this is going to go bam, right there. Guess what? Happy airplane. Look at that. It cleans it out. It's, pretty, it's a basic concept. Um, but like I said, just let go of the stick with these model airplanes and, 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 we'll, and we'll be able to recover. Another thing uh, just out of trivia as well is let's say you're going to do some aerobatics, okay? A lot of guys will say, hey, push on that stick just a little bit, just a little bit, just before you do the aerobatic maneuver. Boom, airplane gets perfect relative wind perfect lift on the wing if you do a roll it should be quicker it should be quicker and better because you're actually uh, making that wing just a little bit more efficient now i don't do that very often sometimes i'll push a little bit before i do a maneuver um, but it's an interesting concept uh that's about it guys on stalls we'll we'll, we'll uh we'll do a little bit more on stall recovery but um the biggest thing with stall recovery is let go of that elevator. Make that airplane a happy airplane, and it will fly again. Thanks, guys. See you later.